Redbeard be cracking open yet another beer given to him by his best friend, Marcel. And there is a really good chance that words are going to come out of this mouth that are going to be offensive to Marcel after drinking this terrifying beer. What be going down, people of the world? Redbeard here, coming at you from his couch. Welcome back to another daily drink vlog for the beer and the glass of the today. We have got a bottle of Peche Mortel, maybe Imperial Coffee Stout, by the Brasserie du De Ciel. Frickin' French. Bottle sized pint glass. Yeah, this is a uh, extra strong stout brewed with coffee. This is basically maybe like an Imperial Russian stout with coffee flavor added. It's 9.5% alcohol. Little bit scared. Let's crack her open. Oh. So much terrified right now. Let's see what we have got. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. That's dark. That's very dark. As always, all the thanks in the whole wide world. I'm going to lose you watching my videos. The beard loves you all so very, very, very much. Yeah, that's really, really dark. Like, no light getting through there at all. It smells kind of potent. And coffee-ish. Kind of hoping maybe it's somewhat along the lines of that Sinha stout my mom got me. Because that was strong, but okay. Let's give her a shot. Holy fucking coffee flavor. Ah! Oh my god! That's insane! If you're a fan of coffee, there's a chance you'll actually really enjoy that. Because that's... I don't know if you've ever taken a coffee bean and chewed on it, but that is what this tastes like. I myself am really not a fan of coffee. I love the smell of coffee. That's about it. The flavor of it, not for me. So, um... Shit. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody, and, um, I don't want to do it, but I'm going to cheers you anyway, Marcel, for donating this dangerous black death to my cause. Oh, shite. Oh, my God. It's so powerful. Literally, the only flavor that I am getting is the coffee. Maybe like the tiniest little kind of stout taste in the back end of it, but really not much more than the insane coffee baseball bat smack to my face. Ah. Fucker! Just fired it up on Google Translate here. Apparently this Peche Mortel, which I don't even know, can I... Peche Mortel. You can, that's pretty cool. Oh, and it... That's what it means. I don't know why it just came up full screen like that. Interesting. Apparently I am drinking a mortal sin. Yay. I believe it. This brewery is a very, very, very good example of being able to have even a bottle. So not as much label room as a big can, 
but still getting all the info you need on there. There's a date, you got ingredients, everything. Everything. It even tells you if there's aging potential. Like, you can age this. I don't know, it doesn't say for how long, but... Espresso coffee is infused during the brewing of Peche Mortel, resulting in an intense dark beer with roasted malt flavors enhanced by bitter coffee. Drink with moderation. Yeah. A few of these and you would be right on your ass. Ingredients are water, malted barley, sugar, wheat, coffee hops, and yeast. And, yeah. I like your bottle. It's kind of got like a weird, interesting, I don't even know how to describe that art style, like abstract-ish maybe, but I like it a lot. It's cool. And the beer? I'm not a huge fan, but it's not awful. You know, like if you, like I said in earlier, after I had my first drink and almost died, if you like coffee, there's a good chance you'll actually really enjoy this beer. Although I should reiterate, if you like incredibly bitter, like black coffee, which most of the population likes a little bit of sugar, a little bit of cream or milk in their coffee. Today being September 2nd, on this date in 1859, a solar superstorm affected the electrical telegraph surface. Not surface, which it just sounded like I said. I meant to say service. Annunciation is important. Yeah, that would have been an interesting thing to experience back then when I'm sure solar superstorms weren't really even understood that well. So a lot of people were probably wondering what the hell was going on with the telegraph service? In 1945, during World War II, combat ended in the Pacific Theater with Japan surrendering uh, after the U.S. dropped two atomic bombs on them, which might have been a bit overkill, but at the same time, did the ends justify the means? Like, would, have Japan, would Japan have ever surrendered? Would they just kept fucking everything? No one can really say, but at the same time... Nuclear atomic weaponry does seem a little bit much for pretty much any war type thing going on. I'm sure I meant, I was trying to blah blah blah, can't talk, I'm trying to think of a better word for the uh, yeah, but it's not working right now. I've got Imperial Coffee stuff in my brain. Finally, in 1963, CBS Evening News became the US network television's first half-hour weeknight news broadcast when they extended the show from 15 minutes to 30 minutes, which is actually very surprising because I would have assumed that the news would have always been at least a half an hour, like 15 minutes of news? Like, maybe local news, but you're not going to learn that much in 15 minutes unless the person's like just, blah, 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 just talking like a madman, rambling and things. Yep, that's the cheer, cheer to the first evening news broadcast thing that was a half an hour long. I don't fucking know what I'm talking about. Oh. You're, a, you're a little bit of a dick, Marcel. I gotta, I gotta say. Oh. Oh my god. coffee like it's actually not it's not any stronger like alcohol flavor wise as than the sin has stout that my mom gave me a little while ago I think it was like two weeks maybe that was nine percent I believe or maybe it was 8.8 .8, but it wasn't that much off of this one oh for god's sakes yeah I liked that one better My train of thought just, I don't know, exploded on arrival, and yeah, nobody survived. Drink numbers are last. Kill the mortal sin. Kill it before it kills me. Ah! On the upside, 
you want to drink a really strong beer that doesn't make your breath smell like beer. I'm pretty sure my breath just smells like coffee right now. And the taste in my mouth, it won't go away. Brasserie du de Ciel. If that is how it's supposed to be pronounced. Probably not. I'm probably butchering your name. And I'm sorry for that. Your Piché Mortel. Which again, I'm probably... I, 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 I made it say it and I can't remember how it said it. Rating on your beer? Five. Point five. I'll give it the, the I don't know, little extra pop up there because... For my palate, not so fantastic. One more time though, I will say, if you like you some coffee that is black and bitter and, you know, wake you up kind of crazy coffee, you will love that. And that is going to do it for today's Daily Drink Vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then be sure to smash that like button. If you want to see more of my vlogs, then be sure to smash that subscribe button. And if you got something to say to me, then put some comments in the box down below. Thanks again, and I'll be back with another Daily Drink Vlog tomorrow. Peace out! Grab your shorts and sandals and open a can of summer today. I don't taste the summer. I taste some kind of season of pain. Oh. Oh, there's another weird stout in my fridge. I am going to do that tomorrow and do like a comparison between the two. It could be kind of fun.